What's going on, Detroit? Um, DVE fam. Um, it's your boy D Chase making another video. This is not piston talk. It's been something I've been reading up on. Um, it's about um, I know y'all been hearing this thing. I know Tupac movie came out on. You know, so it came out around his birthday. You know, it sucked anyway. By the way, it's trash. That sh saw that that shit was horrible. Um, so I don't even want to discuss why, but it's a lot of shit wrong with that movie. Benny Boom should be a fucking shame. Now. Um, y'all know back when Tupac got killed back in '96, um, there was a lot of shit going on. No, they was thinking people saying Suge had him killed, people saying Puff had him killed. It was a lot of back and forth shit. But what y'all didn't know was, and I'm pretty sure half y'all should know, him and Pac had a Snoop and Pac had a falling out. They kind of clashed, and I'm gonna tell you how that happened. But before I do that, I'm gonna give you a link to follow up on. So if you don't believe me, you think I'm just bringing up some shit, then. Then you can go ahead and write in my column and all that. But now, the link I'm about to give y'all, type up on YouTube, Snoop talks about conflict with Tupac. When you see the video pop up, it's going to be on Sway. It's going to be like eight minutes or something. He's, t he's breaking down what happened. Keep listening to the end. The end, this shit is going to fuck you up. Now, it's a song he got out. He explains, he's talking about how he pulled, how, yeah, pull up on you like they did, and pull up on you like... Pull up on you in a white caddy, which a white caddy pulled up on the side of pocket and shot, which they informed you from when he passed. Okay. Now this is now why the Suge and why the Snoop and Tupac and Suge had a clash. Why the Tupac and Suge, I'm sorry, had a clash with um Snoop. Okay, they had did the, it was right after the Source Awards at um in New York. Um, Snoop was invited to do a show on um. Angie Martinez's um, radio station. She asked him a million dollar question. She says, Snoop, how do you feel about Biggie and Puff? Snoop told her, I love, I got love for Snoop. I got love for um, Biggie and Puff. They're my homeboys. That was strike number one for Pac. I'm beefing with this nigga. And you get on there talking about some that you got love for them, your homeboys. Okay. So, the night before they was, the, the next day they were supposed to fly out. They was at a hotel. Uh, Tupac sent one of his boys up to get some weed from Snoop. Snoop felt uncomfortable about that. He felt funny about it. So he went downstairs. When he went downstairs to see what was going on, his uncle had told him, you know, they down here talking about you like it's some, some shit going on. And I, I don't know what he, because that's what he said. So he, I don't know what was said or what not. I wasn't there. Okay, so um, before they get on a flight to go from New York to Los Angeles, Snoop said Suge did not let none of his people ride, none of the DPG, none of his boys, nobody. Only people that rode with them was Suge himself, about five or six of Suge's homeboys, and Pop, and Suge's bodyguards. Okay, so now... He said something about five, three hours, in, like from New York to Los Angeles is a five hour flight. So three of those hours had went bad before Snoop went up and go talk to Pac. He sat down next to Pac and said, hey, cuz you going to Vegas? Pac turned around and started talking to another person on a plane, whether it's his friend or whatever. Because now you remember, none of Snoop people on the plane, just him. And he didn't have no heat. He didn't let him carry no gun, nut. Just got on the plane. So Snoop said he went in the back. He put the blanket over his face. He had a knife in one hand and a fork in the other. I said he was sitting up there because he didn't know if they was going to try to do something to him. So now he says they get to Los Angeles. They get down at the private at the private jet site. It is two Rolls Royce sitting out front. One is for Pop. One is for um, Snoop. Said Pop get off the plane and he got off the plane. They met. In front of the plane, and I guess Snoop asked him the question again. So, cuz you going to Vegas? Tupac, he said, did him like this. I like, get on, and went, jumped in his car, and pulled off. Snoop jumped in his car, and pulled off. He said that day, about a little after eleven, they got a call. He was at Warren G house when they was watching TVs at Warren G's house. Said he got the call. 
Shug called him talking about some Snoop Dogg. You know what I'm saying? They, they got Pac. They, they hit Pac up. Come on. Let's go. Come on out here. So he went out there to Vegas to see him. When he went to see Pac, he said Pac was unconscious. He was asleep. Um, now, people saying that he had, that, that a Crips shot him. That some Crips shot him. Um, which was true. Some Crips shot him, but they not stating who. And you got to think, Crip, uh, Snoop was in a powerful Crip gang. He could, they said he could have had it cut off the head and all that. Um, which he could have, but I mean, is people influence like is people in referring to him knowing that it was going that the hit was going to take place? People saying he 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 set it up because he kept asking Pac like you going to Vegas, going to Vegas, and Pac kept ignoring him, and that was they part of they collab, they was part of they clashing and shit and, and, and fucked up, and um, it was really fucked up because I had so much love for Snoop. I had so much respect for Snoop. I, I used to listen to his shit all the time. I used to watch all his movies. And his movies is the shit, man. I'm like, damn, but why would you... If that's your man's... And I don't think... If if one of my DV members and me clash, we gonna sit down like grown men and talk that shit out. Whether the problem is, whether it is what it is. I'm not gonna sit there and one of my DV, whether it's Man Beast, LB, or whoever, I'm not gonna know they about to get hit. Or I'm not gonna set them up to get hit. Them my brothers. I'm not gonna do that. Me, 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 and my brother could fall out tomorrow, and we'll sit down like grown men and talk about it and, and get it and get us back straight. But the problem with Death Row was it was too much, it was too much testosterone around that shit. You got Shug being the head of the boss. He he went from security guard to basically owning some shit, and then you got like Pop who just came over here from fucking with um his little crew, his little crew who he was with. And then you got them just clashing right there. Then you got Snoop telling them, like, hold up. Because if you, I mean, documents don't tell you shit. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, oh, excuse me. All of a sudden, Tupac's bodyguard shows up dead, like, right after he, like, reveals what the fuck happens. Or is about to reveal what happens. See, that's that bullshit. But the shit happened. Um, I lost a lot of love and respect for Snoop just because if you feel your homie about to get killed, you know why not try to save him? And 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 I don't care if he being naive. If he if Tupac was being naive, what was it gonna hurt for Snoop to pick up the phone, and leave him a mess? Hey, bro, you know people on your head out there. Be careful going out there in Vegas. You know, you no know, shit happening. You know East Coast cats can come over here and, and fuck us up and do us dirty. Snoop did none of that. Snoop basically like let his boy walk into an ambush and get popped. And he not even trying to correct the say, well, man, look, I ain't had nothing to do with that. That was my homeboy. That was like my brother. That was my motherfucker, like my blood brother. Like, I would lay down my life for him or something. He ain't even trying to admit to it. it that's what pissing me off because I'm like, Snoop, if somebody calling you a killer, man, I understand you supposed to be like, man, fuck that shit. They, you supposed to go out their throats like, man, I ain't had nothing to do with that dumb ass shit. You know that shit happened. Somebody, you know what I'm saying, they ran up on my boy, got him, it's fucked up. Boom, I could have stopped it. Yeah, but he ain't even trying to admit he could have stopped it. He could have stopped the shit. You know, and you know, before that happened, Tupac had gotten a fight with um Orlando Baby, um, what was his name? Orlando Baby Anderson. And he ended up getting killed like shortly after that. So it's like, come on, man, like And the result of that man, if you if you got a brother, you know, y'all like brothers, you beefing with him, man. What's it gonna hurt to sit down and, and be like, look, man, uh, Pac could have sat him down like, man, that was fucked up. Like, you know I'm beefing with them. Like, you know we going at it like this. We going at it like mafia threats. You know we doing this shit. And you just gonna go over there like, I got love for them. They're my homeboys. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, you got love for them, but look what you doing, bro. You over here. Like, what you know, Pac had that thing like, I'm riding with you. But when you do some shit like that, how am I supposed to ride with you? When... It's like you riding with them. And then I don't know if you're trying to set me up. You know, it's a lot of shit you got to think about when you out there in the rap industry, in the music industry, because shit can happen. And when shit happen, I mean, just look at that that Cypress Hill and Ice Cube shit. That shit could have got blown out of proportion. It could have been essays against blacks. And that would have been fucked up. Because we cross essays every day. And what if them not to see one of us, and then they just react off instinct. Like, oh, they, they like fuck essays. And we like... And they like we like fuck niggas, and then they see us, and then they just get the squeezing off it. It would be so fucked up. So if thank God, cool head prevailed, cool heads prevailed that beef because that beef could have got out of control. But 
I just want to shed some light on the situation, man. Look, even Faison Love came at Snoop like, look, Snoop, if you think I'm lying, holler at me. You, know, you got my number. You, you, can, you can reach me wherever you want to reach me at. Holler at me. So I just want to shed some light on that, man. I was kind of pissed at Snoop, man. He ain't let his boy know he was about to get popped or he probably was behind the shit. It's all fucked up, man. But, um, you know, um, salute. I'm out of here. Um, uh, hit that L, hit that like button for your boy, man. And, um, subscribe to me. Um, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate my, uh, subscribers. And I definitely appreciate my DVE fam doing their thing, man. All the DVA fam. Shout out and salute. Um, I'm gonna get up out of here, man. Cause, um, my day gonna be going kind of crazy. Um, I got my last day off tomorrow. And then I'm on work. And then I pretty soon gonna be starting my new job. So I'm probably gonna be telling my old one bye. But um, I'm going to get up out of here, man. It's your boy, D. Chase. Salute. Peace. Love.